Hello and welcome to This Is. Matt, why does the Pokemon company consistently make terrible decisions and why do we keep making videos about them? They announced Pokemon Home a while back the same time they announced Sword and Shield. Right. And so that was going to be the upgrade or the next generation of Pokemon Bank. However, now we have the details for it and it's terrible. It's completely, it's, it's completely defeats the purpose of itself. Okay, if you are a super hardcore Pokemon fan, you're likely to have played many, many, many Pokemon games. And because you've pretty much been able to transfer Pokemon from every generation, so starting from generation three, all Pokemon you could go transfer up through the games, but it used to be a really annoying process. You had to go from like the Game Boy to the GameCube to the DS well, to this, to, like it was, it used to be this huge hassle. However, with Pokemon Bank on the 3DS, you could then just upload them to the cloud. It was something like $5 a year. $5 a year. Well, $4.99 if we're getting technical about it. I mean, so you could have 3,000 Pokemon. So every time you had a new generation or a new game, you could just transfer over your yeah. squad and keep going and going and going, going. And it was a really good system. And for five bucks a year, I mean, that's a really solid Reasonable. way to, to, you know, have this generational gap between Pokemon. Considering some of the Pokemon you could have had could be 15 years old. And right. you'd have them transferred through pretty much every game. Very cool idea. Your, your 100 IV shiny Mewtwo, like, that could go with you every 31 game. IV. Now we have Pokemon Home, which is exclusively for the Switch games. So, okay. Sword and Shield, Let's Go Eevee, Let's Go Pikachu, and eventually it's gonna be Pokemon uh, Go. So essentially, Pokemon Bank, you can transfer your Pokemon from Pokemon Bank into Pokemon Home. Home. Then you can transfer from Let's Go, you can transfer from Sword and Shield, and you can transfer, again, like you said, at some point from Pokemon Go all into this one service. However, once you get your Pokemon there, not only do you have to pay a lot more, but sometimes the Pokemon can't come out, right? It's pretty much a one-way process. Yeah, then. because of the limitations to the Let's Go Eevee, Let's Go Pikachu, and then the Sword and Shield decks, there's a lot of Pokemon that are just gonna be in limbo at that point. And you're still like, you'd be transferring them over with the hope that you could transfer them later. Which if you look at our video on the controversy from that, where they just cut out hundreds of Pokemon, all those hundreds of Pokemon that got cut cannot be transferred to Sword and Shield. So you can have them in Pokemon Home, but you can't do anything with them because it's a yes. one-way process end. Yes. So the problem here is that say I have a Pokemon from third gen, 2003 Pokemon Ruby. I've transferred it through all of my games. It's into Pokemon Bank. I transfer it from Pokemon Bank to Pokemon Home. But if it's not in the Galar decks, then I can't take it out. So it's pretty much I'm paying to have the Pokemon sit there in the cloud. Yep. But until there's a game or an expansion pack for Sword and Shield, I cannot bring that Pokemon out of Pokemon Home whatsoever. Yeah, and it's so you br you bring up the, the DLC for Sword and Shield, which is BS to begin with because Nintendo was adamant that there was A, not going to be DLC for, for uh, Sword and Shield, and that there was also not gonna be adding in all these other Pokemon, both of which turned out to be not true. But with this now, to get the full Pokemon experience, we are up to $135 for, for one, to get the full Pokemon experience. Okay, walk me through that. So you got $60 for the game. Got it. I mean, to be fair, you could probably get it used, whatever, but. For $57. Six, $55. Yeah, <laughs> 55, 60, whatever, 60 bucks for the game. Yeah. $30 for the DLC. Okay, yeah. $15 for home per year per year right let's face it if you're using pokemon home it's because you're a competitive player so with sword and shield as well you need online for the max raids so you you're know, pretty the much online. paying that 20 dollars right year. and again if you're a competitive player you probably don't want to give up your your 3ds team so you still need to pay the five dollars a year for pokemon bank oh right because pokemon bank's not going anywhere they're completely incompatible. Pokemon Bank is not leaving. But you can transfer out of Pokemon Bank, but nothing can ever go back in it. But if you still want to play any of the 3DS games like X and Y, yes. uh, it was Ultra Sun and Moon and But you can even Sapphire go to and you can even do Gen 1 if it's the uh oh. if it's the 3DS downloaded emulated games. Anything that was on the 3DS Hold on. store Hold on. can, can I, go through Bank. Can I try to explain this in one concise sentence cuz I'm really confused right now. Yes. With Pokemon Bank, the previous generation's yes. cloud service, I could take Pokemon from pretty much every Pokemon game 
since the dawn of time. So the first and second gen games on 3DS, as well as all the games uh, ranging back from Ruby and Sapphire on Game Boy Advance, all the way through if I want to spend the time to transfer them from game to game to game to get them to a 3DS game, and then upload them to Pokemon Bank. Now, if I want to do anything more than that, I can still continue to do that, and it's $5 a year. Yes. But if I want to get them on my Switch games, specifically Sword and Shield, I will then need to pay $15 a year? $16, $16 a year? $16 a year. To get Pokemon home. But the problem is, as soon as I transfer all my old Pokemon in there, the only way to get them they're out of that- They're stuck on home. They're stuck on home until yeah. Sword and Shield support those specific Pokemon. But the flip side is, I could also, inside Pokemon Home, dump Pokemon from Pokemon Let's Go, and I can dump Pokemon from Pokemon Go and Sword and Shield all into one place, but I can only bring them out into Sword and Shield because those games support not all Pokemon, but most Pokemon. Yeah. I, what? It's dumb, and it totally defeats the purpose of having this service. So with the free version, you can only transfer from the Switch games and Pokemon Go whenever that happens. Yes. You cannot transfer from, you can't even transfer from Bank. Right. With the free version. And you only have 30 slots available of your of your cache of, of Pokemon. Okay. Now that's fine if you're trying to just transfer a handful of uh, Pokemon. Kind of. You know, not like, very useful. No, it's not super useful. And definitely for, the, again, who this is for, which is most likely the competitive player, 30 is just not going to be enough. So one of the actual cool features of Pokemon Home is that they're going to have the judge appraisal system from Pokemon Go, but you don't get that with the free basic thing. So to basically to make any use of Pokemon Home, you, you need to have to go to premium. So it's either $3 a month, $5 for three months, or $16 for the year. Well, it's not expensive, but it's definitely, it ends up being, mm. You sure about that? That's pretty expensive. For 20 bucks for the, I mean, 16 bucks this, for the year. You're storing like a megabyte of data in the cloud. This is true. This is like, true. <laughs> this is incredible. Well, it's, it's kind of the other features you get with it that justify the price. And then I'm, I'm using justify super loosely, but it ends up being four times the cost of essentially the same service with bank. It almost makes sense to not take advantage of this until the current generation game yeah. can actually support all of your older dudes. So essentially what's happening right now is Pokemon, it's a new era, right? So now right. that we have these Sword and Shield games on the Switch, instead of doing that third generation of like, you know, there's blue, red, and yellow, or Ultra Sun and Moon in addition, instead they're doing with the expansion pass. I totally agree with that. I think that is the smart way of doing it. Maybe they didn't necessarily pitch it in the correct way, but it's the smart, modern way of doing it. However, this seems like it's a step too far, and it's really quickly gone from $40 to play a Pokemon game and you buy a new one every little while, to what was that, over $100 to 130. buy the games, all the different yearly passes, the expansions. It's kind of gotten to be a little bit ridiculous, but I think the biggest issue here is that they're charging you $16 a year to bring Pokemon forward that you've had for potentially decades, or over a decade and then you can't do anything. And there's really been no other way to actually have that collection than Pokemon Bank. And then now they're saying, well, now that's completely incompatible with this new generation. I wanna be fair here, there are some legitimately useful features that Home is introducing. So you can actually trade right indirectly in the mobile app. Okay, that's And cool. you can do things like open mystery gifts from Sword and Shield right through the app. You don't have to actually boot up your Switch every so day. So you can do everything that. from your phone, essentially. Uh, not everything, but a lot of things. Okay. But then you can also do like wonder trade. The but other side benefit here is obviously it's not out yet, but you can, in theory, trade Pokemon from Pokemon Go all the way in here, right? which would be really cool. Pokemon Go is currently what has the largest collection. Yeah. It's the most complete collection out of any of the games right now. It's so. gonna be cool to bring them into an actual mainline Pokemon game. Yeah. And not Tap Fest 3000. So with $16 a year, Pokemon Home will be out in February. And while there are some good things here, it seems way overcomplicated. I don't understand why they couldn't just extend bank into the next generation. Because they wouldn't make money that way. Are they not making enough money already? No. Have I not bought 100 Pokemon games over my lifespan already? The answer is yes, man. You know what I'm gonna do right now? Go check out Pokemon Sleep.